Good evening. I'm Marcelin Bailey of ML Bailey Consultants, and you are inside of the Happy Half Hour Nighttime Live Experience. We are talking about sleep, and today's topic is what I wish I knew when I was up all night. Now, I want, I'm going to give a little disclaimer. This is not mental health therapy, it is not psychotherapy, and if you're experiencing extreme emotional or mental symptoms, I'm going to urge you to seek care at your local mental health facility or through your primary care physician. Also, if you have thoughts of self-harm or thoughts of harming someone else, you should call 911 or go to the nearest emergency receiving facility. Hey, Sister Sense, LaShonda Henry, I'm glad to see you. We are inside of the, hey, I'm waving back. Yes, we're inside of the Nighttime Live, hosted by ML Bailey Consultants, and hey, hey there, good to see you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the thumbs up. We're going to be talking about, again, things I wish I knew when I was up all night. And I want to give you a little background as to why that topic and why talking to you about sleep is so important to me. Right now, with the COVID-19 or coronavirus uh, pandemic, so many of us are stressed out. Mm -hmm. We're having to juggle so much uh, in our lives right now. There are people who are losing their jobs. There are people who are being laid off. There are people who are concerned about catching the virus. We're having to stay six feet away with social distancing. Schools are out. Parents, some parents are working from home. I'm one of those parents. I'm glad that our children are adults. But parents are having to juggle their, their children's schoolwork with their own work at home. And it is a very stressful and scary time. And from experience, we know that when we are worried, when we are concerned, our sleep is disrupted. Over half of Americans in, in our country admit to having trouble sleeping. And the primary reason for that trouble are concerns about finances, as well as concerns about what's going on around them, their lives. So this is one of those times when People are losing sleep. And what I hope is that through this experience, you will gain the, you'll actually learn the best ways that you can use to help you to get a restful night's sleep. Not only that, I want you to be able to learn how to manage your actions and reactions during the day so that you will be able to come home manage your family, and then fall asleep and rest through the night. But let me get back to my story. There was a time in my life when I was unable to sleep, and I'm going to tell you why. My family was going through a major, major upheaval. My husband and I were out of work at the same time, we were on the verge of losing our home, our home that we had just built. My husband um, developed an infection that was exacerbated by his health status, which landed him in the hospital. And because of that hospitalization, our lives changed. Our girls were very young at the time, and it was a time of it was a time of great stress, I'm going to tell you. We were in a financial hole. We couldn't pay our bills. I would go to work and call home just to see if our phone was still on or if I'd get that doo-doo-doo. I'm sorry, the number you just dialed is not a working number. I would do that throughout the day because I was afraid that our phone would be cut off. And yes, our phone was cut off 
a number of times. But it was a time of great stress. And what I found is that at night, I would, after I got the girls in bed and my husband would retreat to his place where he was trying to regroup and, and, and catch himself and regain his spirit, I would get in bed, dog tired. I would lay down, hey, Maticia, love to see you. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Matisa Wooten of North Carolina. Glad to see you. But I would lay down. I'd be dog tired, exhausted, and then I would wake up. My head would hit the pillow and I would just wake up. And I'm gonna tell you that um, I was not able to go to sleep. That was one thing that would happen to me. The other thing that would happen to me is that I would fall asleep for about 30 minutes and then I would be up until about four o'clock in the morning. Well, you know, at four o'clock in the morning, I ended up having to stay up all night because I'd have to get up at six. So I was struggling trying to sleep. I was stressed, I was anxious, I was barely hanging on to life. So I decided I need to learn, needed to learn how to take care of me. And that started me on a journey. I started doing research on relaxation. I started doing research on stress and, and the stress response so that I could learn what was going on in my body and what was keeping me awake at night. And then I started incorporating some of those things that I learned in ways that I could fall asleep and then sleep through the night. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you during these live streams. So let's get into the five points that I want to make. Maticia, you are saying, yes, self-care is so important. Yes, it is important because if we don't take care of ourselves, we certainly can't take, a, take care of anyone else. So it is important that we do what we need to do to make sure that we're healthy and we're whole, which in turn will make us happy. So let's go on to the five points that I want to share with you today. First, you're not alone. When you're up at night and you can't go to sleep, you're not alone. And I know how that is because, you know, when I was up at night, it seemed like I was by myself. The house was quiet. I couldn't call my BFF. I couldn't phone a friend, right? And I couldn't say, hey, I'm up. What are you doing? So... Most of the time, I would sit there, I would turn the TV on, um, and I would think. I would think and think and think. But you're not alone. As I said before, over half of the U.S. adult population admits to losing sleep primarily because of finances. The second thing that people lose sleep over is concerns about their relationships and their future. Yes, that's right. LaShonda Henry, you're not alone. Thank you. Another thing that I want you to take away tonight is that stress is a mind game. The stress response, as we know it, is called fight or flight, right? And we react to things because our amygdala goes into action. It gets us ready to fight or it gets us ready to run, to flee. Yes, finances. That's one of the things that keeps us up at night. But our stress response is the very thing. If you recall back in, you know, second grade where um, you saw in your science book the saber-toothed tiger and the caveman, he was going to fight that saber-toothed tiger. That's basically what it is. Whenever we have a real perceived or imagined threat, the fight or flight reaction goes into high gear. So just as an example, just say it's nighttime, right? And you're going to take the trash out. Now you're going to take the trash out and you get to your trash can and you hear a noise. You're startled. That is part of fight or flight. You immediately get ready to run or to fight. 
The second thing is a perceived, a perceived um, threat. And that's when you're about to go outside to take out the trash and you start thinking because it's so dark, there could be something in the dark that could harm you. That's a perceived threat. It's something that you think might be in the dark, but you only perceive it because you can't see. And then we have the imagined threat. And that's before you go outside, you're thinking about all kinds of things that could be out there that could harm you. All of those things initiate our fight or flight response and the stress, and again, stress is a mind game. So that's one of the reasons we have trouble sleeping at night because the fight or flight response is there to keep us safe. The third thing that I wanna share with you tonight is that we can create an environment that's conducive to sleep. And I'm gonna take a pause right here because I, before I get into that third one, I just wanna know, do you have any questions? I'm seeing some comments from LaShonda, you're not alone. Matissa, yes, finances keep you awake and relationships keep you awake as well. Are there any questions, any other comments that I need to address right now? All right, and I love those hearts. Thank you for the hearts. I love it, I love it. I love that support from you all, thank you. So. Let's talk about the environment that's conducive to sleep. Okay, our habits have a lot to do with it. Our habits, what kinds of things do we do prior to going to bed? What kinds of things do we do during the day? All of our habits, our movements, our actions, all impact our ability to fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up well rested. And we're going to talk, as we do more of these live streams, we're going to actually talk about some of those habits that you can put into place that's going to help you. The second thing that helps us to develop good sleep is our food choices. Now, when it's nighttime and you're eating dinner, you might eat dinner around 9, 8, or 9 o'clock, Sometimes we have to because we're working, we have other things to do. You don't want to eat anything heavy. And there are certain foods that you can eat that will help you to fall asleep. Foods that have tryptophan. Now, remember, you know, at Thanksgiving time when you're eating turkey, turkey has tryptophan. And that is an ingredient that helps us to fall asleep. Milk also helps us to fall asleep. There's a variety of nuts that help us to fall asleep. And we're gonna talk about that in more detail in another, in another live stream. So food choices make a difference as well. And then it's our actual physical space, the space that we sleep in. We want that space to be comfortable. We want it to be comforting. We actually want it to kind of cradle us and make us feel very relaxed when it's time to go to bed. As a matter of fact, when we walk into our room, we want to feel a rush of relaxation come over us. That's how our physical space needs to be. So let's go on. The fourth thing that we're going to talk about during these live streams, we're gonna actually practice stress relief techniques. That's one of the things that I can share with you. We're going to actually do some mindfulness and we're gonna do relaxation while we're doing our live stream sessions. How about that? Most of the time it's gonna be at when we're done talking, but I want you to be able to practice because when you're in bed, and you're finding that your mind is going, I want you to be able to use some of these techniques to help you to fall asleep. So, the last thing that I wanna share with you is this. I am here to support you. That's part of why I'm doing these live streams because I recognize how important a restful night's sleep is. 
If you don't get enough rest, you're not able to think clearly. It's hard to remember things. Sometimes you become clumsy and you might bump into things as well. Your reaction time is slowed. So getting a good night's sleep is so important and I'm here to support you in that. As part of that support, I have a, a gift for you. And that gift is my Happy People Sleep Well 7-Day Challenge. Now, it's not really a challenge. What it is, is over the course of seven days, I actually share with you specific things that you can do when you're trying to go to sleep. And it's a gift. All you have to do is click on the link that's in the post today. Hi! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Great content. Thank you for your support. Thank you. There's, there's a link in the post today on ML Bailey Consultants. You can go to that link. It's actually at www.happyhalfhour.club backslash live stream invitation. So you can go, nighttime live stream, live invitation. I'm sorry for giving that to you incorrectly. But you can go to that and you'll get that gift. You will, it'll start immediately. Now, that will be over the course of seven days. At the end of that seven days, you get another gift from me. You will have the opportunity to also do our get through the day without losing it seven day challenge. Now that's your daytime challenge. That challenge gives you tips and information on how to get through the day by lowering your stress and without pulling out your hair. So those are two things that I'm gifting you in hopes that it will help you to get through this stressful time. So right now, I want to go into a mindfulness exercise and we're just going to take a look take about five five minutes I want to give you a sense of how you can fall asleep so if you'll just get into a comfortable position just if you're sitting in a chair allow your feet to rest firmly on the floor if you're lying down that's fine just lie down just get comfortable and I want you to just breathe in through your nostrils. Take a deep breath, breath in and then breathe out through your mouth. And it'll look like this. And I'd like for you to take another deep breath in through your nostrils and then breathe out through your mouth. And we're going to take another deep breath in. And as you take this deep breath in, when you breathe out, I'd like for you to allow your shoulders to soften. And when I talk about your shoulders softening, I'm talking about allowing your shoulders to just rest comfortably. Sometimes we have our shoulders up to our neck and that's an indication of stress. So we just want our shoulders to just soften and relax. And as your shoulders are softening, allow your arms and your hands to just fall gently in your lap or at your sides. You don't have to hold them in any particular position. You don't have to hold them still. Just allow them to fall gently in your lap or in your sides. And just continue to breathe in and out naturally. And as you breathe in and out naturally, I'd like for you to begin to bring your awareness to your forehead. Notice how your forehead feels. Do you notice any tension, any tightness? Is your brow furrowed? If so, allow your forehead 
to just, to just smooth. And as it smooths, allowing your shoulders to just fall naturally. And then bring your awareness down to your eyes and your temples. Your temples are usually where we hold a lot of tension and a lot of stress. Do you notice if it's tense, is there tension in your temples? If there are, if there is, just simply allow it to melt away. Just allow your awareness to allow the tension to melt away. Just ease away. Continue to notice your face and bring your awareness to your jawline. Again, do you notice any tension, any tightness in your jawline? And if so, allow your jawline to fall naturally and your mouth may be opened a little bit and that's okay. You don't have to hold it in any position you don't have to allow it, keep it still. Just allow it to fall naturally. Continue to notice your face around your eyes, your temple, your forehead, and your jawline. Notice your shoulders. And again, your arms and your hands and allow them to just rest easily. If you notice any tension in any parts of those body, parts of your body, just allow them the tension to flow away like a river. Allow it to flow away. And just continue to breathe naturally and comfortably in and out, in and out. And now I'd like for you to move your fingers, just begin to move your fingers, move your arms, Move your shoulders. You can roll your shoulders backwards or you can roll them forwards or you can alternate. If you closed your eyes, you may open your eyes and just bring your awareness back to the space that you're in and continue to breathe. Thank you for the hearts. We're going to do much more of this as we help you to fall asleep and get a restful night's sleep so you can hit your day running. I'm Marcelin Bailey. I'm glad you joined me. We'll be here on Friday at the same time. This coming Friday at 9 p.m. Look for a post on ML Bailey Consultants and if you like our page, which I hope you will, you'll also get a notification. This has been Happy Half Hour Nighttime Live Experience. I'm Marcelin Bailey. Hey, Miss Butts! Oh, hey, Miss Butts! I'm now I've, wo I've awakened everybody, including my puppy. I'm so glad to see you, Miss Butts. Oh, you made me so happy. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Ladies, gents, it's good to see you. Good night, sleep tight, and as always, take good care. Bye.